A female patient on antipsychotic drugs reported to the psychiatrist with hallucination suicidal tendencies after assessment her medication was changed lab investigation revealed low wbc is level however the platelet count was normal which drug is attributed to this condition the options are quetiapine clozapine risperidone theoridazine now here uh, if you just see here uh, there is platelet count and wbc now the platelet count is normal but your wbc are getting low right this is one thing second thing the patient is getting cns symptoms cns symptoms these two things are there right and that is due to the use of a drug so we have to just find out the side effects of your drug where uh, you are using and that drug has to be antipsychotic right antipsychotic drug has to be there right so uh, first of all i will talk about a very famous drug that is clozapine and this drug is the first atypical antipsychotic it is first atypical anti psychotic drug this is one important thing about this and this drug is distinct from other drugs because it has a weak d2 blocking action and that has very few extra pyramidal symptoms so yes d2 action is weak and second thing is no or few extra pyramidal symptoms now this uh, drug uh, basically uh, does uh, have a very uh, good effect whether it is a positive schizophrenia or it is a negative schizophrenia this drug is used in both okay it can improve both the kind of schizophrenia right and this particular drug can also be given in the refractory refractory schizophrenia where other drugs are not of that much importance so this particular drug is generally given now what are the limitations of this particular drug and we are more interested in those because the question is based on that particular thing so more major limitation is its agranulocytosis that is generally caused by this particular drug and other bullet disc carriers is all also there right but basically you have to if you are putting this uh, the patient on this particular drug you have to weekly monitor the leukocyte count that is your wbc count and here also wbc count is decreasing in this particular patient yes there are other complications like uh, weight gain hyperlipidemia precipitation of diabetes now if you are giving this particular drug in high doses it can lead to development of the epilepsy Uh, it is also associated with few cases of myocarditis but that is not uh, that much prominent so agranulocytosis that is generally seen in 0.8% of the population is something that is associated with this particular drug that is clozapine so answer is going to be your clozapine that is option 2 and if you quickly walk through the key concept its major limitation is high incidence of agranulocytosis generally 0.8% and high dose can also induce the seizures even in non epileptics so answer is of course your option 2 that is clozapine 